A young Iraqi girl from Peoria, you see her picture here, run down by her own father in what police called an honor killing. Tonight, we're learning some very disturbing details about her family. Hello, everyone. I'm Linda Williams. And I'm Mark Martinez. Now, this case, of course, as you mentioned, gained national attention, and a lot of people wondered how could a father do this to his own daughter. Tonight, we're getting a better idea of how this did happen. Dan Spindle, live with details. Well, yeah, Mark and Linda, the question of motive, you take a look at that. Even though the trial is already passed, did this 50-year-old Iraqi immigrant kill his daughter because she disobeyed him, because she didn't stay true to her culture and her customs, or was this some kind of an accident like he claimed? Fala Al-Maleki admitted to running down his daughter Noor with his Jeep in the fall of 2009, ultimately leading to her death. He claimed it was an accident, but the motive dominated the trial, which lasted into the early part of this year. In this conversation taped with Peoria PD immediately following the hit and run, Sayem, Fala's wife, seemed to sanction her husband's actions. Hi, this is Detective Bill Lang of the Peoria Police Department. I'm calling this in reference to your husband. Have you heard from him lately? Fala ended up running them down with his vehicle. Who said my husband? Maybe it's not my husband. This woman, she's a liar because she's dirty. If it's not your husband, then where is he? I don't know. Your daughter is about close to dying. Close to dying? Yes, she's in critical okay. condition. Tell her thank you, Amal. Thank you. That's what she needs. You're a sick individual. During the trial, the prosecution pushed the idea that this was an honor killing, using Amaleki's own words against him. Let me ask a question. Uh -huh. And your house has got a fire. Uh -huh. And like just a part of the house got a fire. Uh -huh. so we tried to. Stop the fire. When you ran over your daughter, were you trying to burn the whole house down? Or were you trying to put out a small part of the fire? No. We tried to take care of the fire. But when the verdict came down, even the defense team seemed shocked by the result. Not guilty. Amaleki was ultimately convicted of second degree murder. The jury did not believe the Glendale truck driver planned on killing his daughter that day. I wish I was dead and not her. Sorry, Robert. I'm sorry, Noor. Yeah, you hear the father there, um, obviously remorseful uh, in front of the judge, at least. Al Maleki currently serving a 34-year prison sentence, more than 30 of which he will be required to stay behind bars. I'm Dan Spindle, Fox 10 News. Get MyFoxPhoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.